which has put the Turnbull government on notice. No bills for which the Health Minister, Greg Hunt, is responsible will pass through the Senate until he reverses the ban on nicotine e-cigarettes. Now, a report into e-cigarettes was released by the House of Representatives Standing Committee on Health, Aged Care and Sports re recommended that the continuing ban on the sale of nicotine vaping products in Australia while more research is done. Now, to the senator who orchestrated this ban, the Democrats, Liberal Democrat Senator David Linehelm joins me now. This is holding the government somewhat to ransom, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very deliberately. Unashamedly. Uh, unashamedly, unapologetically, yes, it is. It's actually only the second time since I came into the Senate that I've seen an issue this serious. Um, the first time was tw uh, 2014 when the government was uh, going to allow uh, ASIO agents to torture people mm. and uh, I said that's not on if you don't fix that. Um, Why I'm... is vaping <clears throat> on par with that then? Well because people will die. Um, the simple fact is that when you smoke tobacco not only do you get nicotine you get thousands of other chemicals including tar and things like that. Um, those chemicals are what cause lung cancer and emphysema and heart disease not nicotine. Now nicotine's not innocent you still get uh, addicted to it, mm. but when you vape, all you're doing is getting the nicotine. So you don't get lung cancer, you don't get emphysema, you don't get heart disease. Other countries are uh, using e-cigarettes as quitting devices, and we have nicotine in gum, uh, uh, gums and patches and things like that. But our government has, is refusing to allow e-cigarettes. It's, it's, it's wrong, it's out of step with the rest of the world. Mm. Um, uh, it, it, the e-cigarettes are being uh, approved or even being recommended in the UK as a quitting device by the NHS. Yet here in Australia, a parliamentary inquiry, in fact a House committee, as you mentioned, has looked into it. Um, now my information is that they were instructed by the Health Minister, Greg Hunt, uh, to not recommend in favour. Okay. We saw the, the chair of that committee, Trent Zimmerman, uh, say, well, I don't think that's right. Uh, not, 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 not only Trent Zimmerman, I think Tim Wilson was Tim also Wilson on that committee and, and he Andrew wrote a Lamy. dissenting report Andrew as well. Lamy, so the there's story. three Liberals who don't agree uh, with Greg Hunt. Yes. So where is, what's the status of, of this now? Have you had contact with Minister Hunt's office? Can this be uh, sorted out or how long do you expect the it's, Senate to be held to ransom? It's early days. Um, uh, I have enough senators, they need 10 out of 12 to get any legislation through. I have plenty to ensure that nothing will get through um, if we decide that comes from Greg Hunt. This is, so this is not a threat to, um, to the government as a whole. We treat bills on their merits by and large and uh, mm. uh, you know, it'll be business as usual. But any bills coming from Greg Hunt, now just coincidentally, I'm told he introduced several into the House of Reps just yesterday. And uh, so he's going to have trouble. But this might stop actually medicines being elevated to the PBS. No, they, don't, right? they don't require legislation. They don't require legislation. No. Okay, no. what might require legislation that has been introduced yesterday? Well, uh, you might have read in the media today, he's proposing to legislate the rules on uh, health insurance, mm. private health insurance. Now, that the... needs, certainly needs fixing up. Yeah, but I don't think he's going to fix it. I don't think what he's proposing to do okay. will make it any better. So what we're saying is, um, uh, uh, Minister Hunt, have a good think about why you think that you know more than the United States and the UK do. do. Um, people are entitled to quit smoking, entitled to achieve the health benefits in Australia, just as they are in these other countries, and uh, you're going to let people die. And one my, uh, additional point to that is that majority of people smoking uh, these days are low-income people and Indigenous pensioners. Mm. Um, they're, the, they're the ones who mainly smoke. Now, you can import uh, nicotine for, for vaping privately if you want to, but uh, of course those people are far less likely to do that than the smarties. So we're saying this: get over this obsession that's with uh, blocking e-cigarettes, otherwise you're going to have a very unsuccessful time in the Senate. Okay, just